One, two, go. This is Farm and Live, and today we, we, we will be talking about a variety of medical problems out there everyone is experiencing, including the medications that you can take to help. For example, we, we, will, we will be talking about medicines to help get your heart ticking faster and medicines to help you not feel so blue, and many others out there. Here are our TV anchors, Wanda and Jane, with guest doctor Robin and nurse Betsy. Good morning, Jane. How are you today? I'm really fine, Maya. I'm glad you asked. Today we were talking about a variety of drugs, including, whoa, Wanda, I don't feel so good all of a sudden. What do you mean, Jane? I feel dizzy and the lights in the studio are all blurry. I feel so spaced out and... Oh my gosh, Jane! So we can help you call everyone. I think Jane's having a seizure. Jane, are you okay? I think she is coming around. It is okay, everybody. I'm fine. Just a little out of touch. I've been having these seizures lately. Well, Jane, if you're having these seizures, you might want to consider going to the doctor and getting on some medication. Well, doctor, I think you just brought up a wonderful topic for today's new report. Seizures and the way they can be treated. That's a wonderful idea, you guys. Why don't we talk about that divalforex Sodium, or also known as Depakote, is an anticonvulsant that is used in the therapy regimen for those that experience a variety of different kinds of seizures. We can have Dr. Robin explain the behind-the-scenes workings of Depakote, and then have Nurse Betsy, Betsy explain the side effects and instructions to Jane on how to take this medication. That sounds good, Erica. I really would like to know more about this medication Depakote, because I need to have something to help me with these seizures. Now, Dr. Robin, can you tell me a little more about this medication called Depakote? Well, Jane, I have learned a lot of this information from the Davis Drug Guide when I was in school. I will be happy to explain to you about Depakote. Well, Doctor, why don't you start by telling us why Jane would need to take this medication and how it works in the body? Well, Nivalprolex sodium, or Depakote, as most of us know it as, is an anticonvulsant that is used for those that need a therapy regimen for a treatment for simple or complex acid seizure. It also has other uses, include maniac episodes when one has bipolar disorder, and it can be used to prevent migraine headaches. Well, that is interesting information, Dr. Robin. So I've been possibly taking this medication for seizures. How does it work in my body? Depakote works by increasing a neurotransmitter in your brain. This neurotransmitter is known as GABA, and when it is increased in the central nervous system, seizure activity will be decreased. When it is taken into the body, it is well absorbed and rapidly distributed throughout the body. It is then excreted by either the liver or in the urine. Dr. Robin, that explains a lot about Depico, but I have a question. I just had my third kid and I am currently breastfeeding. Is this drug going to affect the feeding of my child? And also, I have a history of having problems with my liver and bleeding problems. You bring up some interesting questions, Jane. First off, Depakote should be used in caution when one is breastfeeding because a similar drug in the same class has the ability to pass into the breast milk. I suggest that if you start taking this medication, you should stop breastfeeding. Also, Depakote will be used cautiously in those that have a history of liver disease, renal impairment, and bone marrow depression. I also want to make the comment that if one is elderly, adverse effects can put the person at a great risk. Now you brought up the fact that you have a bleeding disorder. When patients have this problem, they should use Depakote cautiously, especially if they are taking the drug Warfarin because it can increase your risk of bleeding. I hope my doctor will use caution when he prescribes me this drug because I don't want to put my life in danger. So doctor, what else can you tell me about this drug? Can I take it with other medications and how much will I have to take? Jane, you want to use caution because there is an increased risk of CNS depression in those that use alcohol, opioids, MAO inhibitors, and even antihistamines. We are, when you are prescribed this medication, your doctor will determine the dose you are getting, but it is usually given in two to four divided doses that are either regular or delayed release. These doses can be anywhere from 10 to 15 milligrams a day, which can increase to 5 to 10 milligrams weekly until a therapeutic response is achieved. Thank you so much, Dr. Robin. Now we know why Jane could be using Depakote and how it works in the body. You also provided a great deal of information about why you shouldn't take this medication and when you should use caution when you are taking other medications. Yes, I have learned a great deal of information, but I have to know the side effects of this drug and how I should take it. 
Well, Jane, I will let Nurse Betsy come in now and talk to you guys about the side effects, what she will do for you if you are on this medication, and how to take this medication. Thank you, Dr. Robin. I am glad to be assistant to you, Jane, about talking to you about Depakote. Welcome, Nurse Betsy. Can you tell me some of the side effects of Depakote? Yes, Jane. When you take Depakote, you will have the common side effects of agitation, dizzy, headache, insomnia, sedation, visual disturbances, abdominal pain, anorexia, diarrhea, indigestion, nausea, vomiting, and even tremors. Wow, that is a lot of side effects, but those don't sound that life-threatening. You're correct, Jane. These aren't life-threatening because they are side effects, which basically means that we expect most patients will experience these effects. But the things you need, do need to worry about are the adverse effects of hepatotoxicity and pancreatitis because they can be life-threatening. To make sure that you are cared for properly, Jane, as your nurse, I would make sure that I get a history of any of your previous, previous seizures, including the location, how long they last, and their characteristics, so that I can make sure seizure precautions are in place. I will continue to monitor your lab tests that include your CBCs, platelet counts, and bleeding time counts to make sure you do not experience the problems of leukopenia and thrombocytopenia. What are you going to do so that I don't experience any of those life-threatening effects? I will make sure that I monitor your hepatic function and ammonia concentrations during your drug therapy because you could develop hepatotoxicity the first six months of therapy. If your ammonia levels increase, Depakote administration will probably be stopped. Also to make sure that you do not experience any toxicity, I will monitor you daily if your dose is more than 60 milligrams a day. I just learned a lot of info and I'm not even the one taking it. I know, Wanda. She did a really good job explaining Depakote side effects. So, Betsy, tell me how I will take this medication. Jane, you will take Depakote whole and with meals or right about. Because if you don't, then you might experience some GI irritation. Also, don't take it with milk or carbonated beverages. Gee, I sure learned a lot about this medication Depakote. I now know that I can possibly be taking it for seizure problems, but it, in, it includes GABA. I need to use caution with it because I have blood and liver problems, and I have many side effects, including sedation and nausea and vomiting. I also need to watch out for hepatotoxicity. I also learned that if I start taking this medication, I need to take it with food or after I eat, but never with milk or carbonated beverages. Wow, I learned a lot about Depakote. I plan on going to that doctor today so that I can start taking this medication. Yes, I think all we that we all learned a lot about Depico. I think that our show took an interesting turn today, and we all are very grateful for the information that we learned. Well, that's all, folks. Thanks for joining us for this show, and have a nice day.